Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. <laughs> well, uh, this is one more of the I told you so videos. I am taking an uh, inordinate pleasure because these are far and few in between uh, opportunities. Uh, so yeah, I told you yesterday that the positive il in Illumina after its uh, Q2 results was not warranted. Uh, and um, guess what? I was right. And uh, I want to talk about that today and I want to give you a little more insight about uh, what I think of this sector in general, that is the genomic sequencing sector. So that said, let's get started. Welcome back. Friends, I always have a disclaimer everywhere on the screen to say that what I say in my video is personal opinion and not financial advice. Come to think of it, uh, if I was right all the time, I would not be doing a YouTube channel, <laughs> right? I would, I'd be sitting somewhere uh, sipping a cocktail uh, on a beach or something. So jokes apart, there are uh, times when you have been uh, following a company for a while and are well familiar with most of the moving parts. And then you see a catalyst and your gut tells you uh, whether it's bullish or bearish. Uh, the reason I have my disclaimer is because it does not always matter what I think, how strongly I feel. What matters is what the market thinks because that's what moves the pricing. And that's why I always have the disclaimer. You see, yesterday uh, the market uh, boosted Illumina uh, after the earnings result and I told you that I think it was misplaced bullishness. I said that the markets were uh, not yet ready to make up their mind, uh, so the price opened very low and closed above the previous day's close. Well, today the share has fallen uh, more than 3% uh, at the time of recording this video and could form a bearish harami potentially. There is that possibility, uh, which is basically a big green, ca big red candle. Uh, green candle followed by a red candle. So uh, that's a good possibility out there. Uh, also, today we are um, uh, reading exactly uh, what I was upset about. Uh, I'm seeing that in many outlets that uh, Illumina is still uh, not talking about giving up Grail. And many investors are really upset about this. And I suspect it will show up in the share price. All this helps PSEB a lot. The reason I say that is because PSEB has uh, raised its revenue outlook for 2023, whereas uh, Illumina has not. And um, uh, I think uh, the company now expects to achieve revenues, uh, when I'm talking about PSEB. Uh, PSEB now uh, expects to achieve revenues in the range of 185 million to 195 million, I think 190 million, which represents a growth rate of 44 to 48 percent over 2022. And if you look at it from the point of view of their previous guidance, their previous guidance was uh, in the range of 170 to 185 million dollars. So their higher end of estimate from before, guidance from before, has now become the lower end. So that's a superior confidence. And um, so having said that, we also need Illumina to get a full-time CEO and hopefully that CEO will decide, uh, decide to um, resolve the Grail issue once and for all. So uh, that's that's what will, I think, uh, that's what will make the share uh, do better. Otherwise, I expect it to languish uh, until uh, those things happen because we still have Carl Icahn on board and I'm pretty sure that he wants uh, Illumina to uh, sell off Grail. So I was really shocked and surprised to see that statement uh, which I read from their disclosures where uh, they spoke about you know trying to appeal and giving a guarantee for the 400 and something million dollars penalty to EU. I don't, I don't understand where this company is coming from. So anyway, apart from the uh, uh, pressure that uh, Illumina is getting from Carl Icahn, it seems last month the SEC informed Illumina that they are probing the Grail deal and requested documents and communications related to the deal along with statements and disclosures about the conduct and compensation of certain members of both Illumina and Grail management. Uh, if not resolved soon, I think uh, the final decision of uh, Illumina EU appeal will come latest by Q1 2024 or the earliest by the end of this year. And Illumina has said in uh, if it loses either of the appeals, uh, it's going to divest Grail. Uh, I would like to know your opinions. Please let me know what you think uh, when you compare between Illumina and PSAB. Which one looks more bullish to you uh, until December of 2023? I'm not saying forever. Until the end of this year, 
who do you think will do better? And when I say better, I'm not talking in terms of comparing the share prices. I'm talking in terms of percentage improvement in share price from now until December 2023. Are you bullish, more bullish about PACB or Illumina? That's what I want to know. With that said, I think it's time for me to finish this video. I'm looking forward to the weekend and I hope you guys have a great weekend too. I'll catch up with you again later. Bye for now.